So heritage minister, Minister Gibo, he's come out and his latest tweet just moments ago was he said the whole point of Bill C-10 is to promote Canadian artists and creators. To promote Canadian artists and creators. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? What does the minister mean when he says it's, it's a bill committed to promoting artists and creators? This is what he means by that. He means that if you are a successful YouTuber, uh, if you are an aspiring artist who has captivated an audience, if you are someone who is able to capture the attention of others and therefore grow your popularity organically, he means not you. He doesn't mean you. Instead, what he means is those who need a government handout, those who meet, need their help. Uh, what he's talking about is the prioritization of content. So some content will be moved up and some content will be moved down. Some content will be given a promotion and some content will be given a demotion. In other words, the government is going to choose winners and losers. The government is going to choose which people, which artists, which creative individuals get to be promoted based on their government regulated algorithms and which don't. Wow, okay. So I wonder which, who they're going to put in place that is going to be responsible for policing the internet and making sure that um, they look at your content and then they'll determine just how Canadian it is and then they'll determine whether it gets to be queued up or queued down. So gone are the days of someone who just really likes dog videos going onto YouTube and watching a couple dog videos and then, you know, maybe five more are are suggested for them. Um, or someone who really likes watching a car video is then it's suggested to them that they watch another car video and so on. Gone are the days of, you know, being able to go on YouTube and watch an aspiring artist and love the content that is created and then be have it be suggested to you that you might want to watch this artist over here. So that type of content is proposed to me as a user based on my preferences. And those artists are promoted based on their ability to produce content that is liked and watched and rewatched and shared. It's, it's this organic system of what people like, and it's a reward based system essentially established on talent, ability, merit. Now the government is wanting to come along and they're wanting to determine just how Canadian the content is. And if it's more Canadian based on their criteria, it'll get moved up in the queue. But if it's less Canadian, it'll get moved down in the queue. Now, don't get me wrong, according to the Broadcasting Act, Canadian culture is defined. But to apply that to individual posts on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or TikTok is nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. I mean, who is going to be the regulator of this? Who is going to go through and watch all of our videos or read all of our posts and determine, oh, this one gets a five out of 10 for Canadian content, or this one over here only gets a three out of 10. Oh, this one gets a nine out of 10. This one gets a bump up. Really? Like, it's, it's just absolute nonsense. But when the minister talks about increasing discoverability, this is exactly what he's saying. When the minister talks about helping artists and creatives, this is what he's saying. This isn't helpful. This is a hindrance. The minister is actually talking about recreating algorithms that are going to demote those who are already successful all on their own because they put the work, the effort, the labor into being great. If you have a problem with this, please tell the minister to back off. Please make your voice heard. Because at the end of the day, this is not going to help artists. This is not going to help creatives. This is not going to help those 
who have successful YouTube channels. This doesn't help those of us who maybe don't have those channels, but who just like perusing the internet and like watching videos that we just like watching. This doesn't help any of us. This is government censorship at its finest. The government will determine which content takes priority and which doesn't. I'm not okay with that. And I think many, many, many Canadians are disturbed by that. At least that's what I'm hearing. So I would invite you, please speak out, please speak up, please make your voice heard. Because at the end of the day, this legislation doesn't make life better for us. It makes it worse. And it actually penalizes those who are creatives, those who are artistic, those who are using these social media platforms in order to promote their content. Again, please speak out, write the minister.